Number nine then from paper two of the 2018 National Five Maths. Trigonometry question, it's not right angled, so it looks like a sine rule of cosine. It gives the information which I've put into this diagram. Notice it's nothing to do with bearings, so you don't need norths or anything. Calculate the length of DC. Well, the first thing you should notice straight away is you've got an opposite pair. You've got a side and its subtending angle, the pair that goes together. So to find DC, I want this angle. Well, that's the first thing you do, and you can just show it in your diagram. If that's 75 and it's 180 altogether, that's 105. Now you could just go straight in with it. You could go to the front and say A over sine A is B over sine B, etc. There are Bs. Well, there is a C as well, but the A is well out of it. That's just the form. I would just go in with, if it wants to call that CD, I'm just going to call it CD. In fact, they don't want to call it CD, they want to call that DC. So DC over the sine of its angle, 105 degrees, is the same as the pair you know, which is the 20 over the sine of its angle. So that means DC is going to be, take this across and multiply, 20 sine 105 over sine 37. And after you've put that into your calculator, that'll be it, because there's nothing else to do for the answer. And you press the buttons and you get 32.100, etc. So I'll just take that as DC is 32.1 centimetres. Number 10 then from little vector pathways question. You've got a diagram here and it tells you an additional couple of pairs of fact. In the end, you have to find BC. How would you get from B to C if you're not allowed to travel along that path? Well, there's only one way you can go from B to C and that's the long way around. So it's just a case of filling in the bits and pieces. ED, going from A to D, it says is two times A to B. So that'll be two lots of U. EA, it says, is 2 times DC, so they're parallel as well. Well, if that's twice that, then that's a half of W. Now it's just a case of, can you just say, I'm going round this, it'll be minus U, minus W, but plus 2U, plus a half W. Or we have to write down that I'm going from B to A, A to E, E to D, D to C. I don't know, I'll put it down anyway. I'm going to go from B to A, A to E, it's a bit of a waste of time, isn't it? E to D, and finally D to C, and then I'll arrive at C, and I'll have found my way there. So that was. Now, going this way, B to A is the opposite direction to U. Same with that. A to E is the opposite direction to W. But now I'm going with the flow, I'm with 2U, and I'm with the half W. So finally tidying up, that's going to be 2U, take away U is a single U. Half a W, but take away a whole one, means it's minus a half W. That would be it. Probably didn't need to do that bit. <laughs>